Hello everybody, today we're doing a video in the 2010 Mazda 3 and we're installing our GTA car kit. We'll start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need uh, some kind of a thin uh, uh, panel removal tool in order to get underneath the underneath this uh, underneath the vents so you don't scratch it. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and you also need a small Phillips screwdriver and you need a flathead screwdriver. So we'll start off by using our uh, sharp panel removal tool and our fillet and our flathead screwdriver. So we'll get so we first we have to remove this uh, our vents and uh, we're gonna get underneath here make sure you don't scratch anything. We we'll get underneath uh, this corner. We we'll also get our flat head underneath and we kind of lift it up and pull it towards you. It's kind of hard to take it out the first time. So we're gonna get it here and like just push it out towards you. And this side already Unlock. So there's four clips holding here. There's two on the bottom and two on each side. So uh, once you remove it, you can just rest this on top of here. It's not in the way. The next thing is that we're gonna take our uh, Phillips screwdriver, the big, the one in the bigger size, and remove these two screws on top of the radio, just like that. That's pretty much everything that's holding this radio in place. And we can just wiggle it around and remove it. Before you continue anywhere else, I also forgot to mention that you'll need uh, electrical tape. Uh, because this, uh, this silver Silver plastic here scratches very easily, especially underneath the radio there's metal and if you touch it, it for sure it's going to scratch and then everybody's going to see it. So we took electrical tape and we put two layers of it and kind of removed the radio and uh, we're going to tape it up so if by any chance we touch it, we're not going to scratch it. Actually just like that. Now the radio is ready to come out. There's three connections on the back of the radio and we're gonna remove all of them. So there's there's the antenna connection and then there's the auxiliary connection and then there's the main harness. So the antenna connection you just press on the side and it comes off. <clears throat> and then the other two connections we gotta do from the bottom. So everybody can see. So I'm gonna take this one, press it here. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand. And then we're gonna remove this one. Just like that, and now the radio is ready to come off. There's gonna be no radio code or anything like that so don't be scared to unplug the main harness because it's not gonna ask you for the radio code and we're just gonna put the radio to the side right now so once we remove the radio we're gonna show you right now where we put the wire we put it in the, in our cup holders because you don't have to drill any holes and there's an opening here in the corner so to remove the cup holders you have to have the e-brake up and we're gonna get our hands underneath here and uh, just lift it out like that and the cup holders come out so as you can see the wire <coughs> is fished underneath here that's where it comes in into the pockets there's an opening here so you don't have to drill anything as you can see the wire is all the way here and we just use the uh, 
coat hanger to fish it out so it, it's going to take some time to for you to fish it out uh, you can also try to remove the shift knob and as the silver piece comes off it just lifts up and you pull it towards yourself and uh, so we're going to put it back right now because we're going to show you how to hook up the kit to the car it's easy just puts goes back in so <clears throat> we have our kit uh, pre-assembled already so on uh, we have a module in the middle this is where our cable is gonna plug in for the iPod but on the other side uh, is our our connections here so <clears throat> we took out the harness from the back of the radio so it's gonna go back in here into the part of our kit and this will now go back into the back of the radio uh, this connection for the auxiliary we also took out so I put it back it's like a kind of like a white white splitter you can call it so these two will go back to the to the radio you also have a ground wire so this it's very important to put the ground wire back so once you have those three things connected it goes it all goes back to the module you don't have to it looks like there's a lot of connections but there's really not it's pretty simple to do uh, you don't have to splice any wires or anything like that so we're gonna take our radio I'm gonna bring it back on the back of the radio here there's a it's Phillips screw we're gonna use this one because it's right at the back of the radio we're gonna use our small Phillips screwdriver to get this small small bolt out and uh, we're gonna take our negative like our ground and connect it to the back of the radio it has to be connected to a metal part we we'll suggest doing it right at this corner just like that <clears throat> So now we're ready to put our connections back. We're gonna take this harness, we're gonna plug it in all the way back. Uh, make sure you connect it properly and that the connections click in. Uh, for now, yeah, we'll connect the. This is our antenna. Make sure you don't forget to connect that, or you're not gonna have any radio so we're just gonna take the connection and put it back in here just like that <clears throat> so once you have everything connected the last thing you have to connect is to co is the iPhone cable so can you hold the radio please We're gonna take the wire that we already fished before and we're gonna connect it to the module. And we're gonna drop everything back for now. I'm gonna rest the radio here. So this, there's enough space to hide all those. See, I didn't even put anything kind of back, but there's enough space to put everything there. And uh, <clears throat> we're gonna show you how the kit how the kit works so we're gonna take our key gonna put to accessory mode gonna take the cable that we already fished and uh, right now you're in FM so once you connect it's gonna start charging right now you're in FM so we're gonna press the auxiliary button and uh, if you have nothing plugged in there now you have an iPod option which you didn't have before uh, and uh, <clears throat> once it's plugged in we're gonna go to our uh, by using uh, this the folder button we're gonna go to iPod uh, iPod 1 and so this is the manual mode as you can see it says there it's the manual mode uh, basically we call it uh, from before we call it hybrid mode 
So in this mode you can switch the songs uh, both from the radio. As you can see I'm using the seek uh, buttons and it switches the songs. Just like that. You can also switch it from the steering wheel controls. And uh, <clears throat> you can switch it right directly from the iPod. So the next, uh, the other cool feature that we have is that if you press the folder up button, it's gonna go to iPod, iPod 2. And this is our first playlist. As you can see, it says here, 01 playlist. And it shows you the song name, album, and title. And uh, so now this, the iPod is locked fully, so you can't uh, can't switch anything from here. But you can still use all your other other features. And if somebody calls you, the sound is just gonna dim, and you can answer the phone call. Once you hang up the phone call, it's just gonna resume back to playing the music. So it's kind of you can put it away. And uh, now once you switch the songs. It's gonna show you the song names right there, all the song names. Uh, as you can see, you can also use this display button to choose what you want to show here. So you can show what playlist it is, artist title, album title, song title. And we're just gonna go back to for it to say the third song of uh, our first playlist. So we go up in the folder. So this is our playlist, second playlist. We go up more, it's gonna be our third playlist, and as you can see it's showing you everything. And if you wanna get the uh, if you wanna get a control of your iPod back, we're just gonna go back to iPod one. And that's where it doesn't show you the it's the our manual mode, and as you can see it unlocked it back. So that's pretty much it for uh, for using and controlling the iPod. And uh, everything will still function the same way. Your CD player will function, all your radio. You're just gonna have this feature which you didn't have before when you press the auxiliary, it's gonna say iPod. The stock auxiliary inside the armrest is still gonna work. Everything will still work the same way. It just the only tough part about this car is feeding this wire through. Otherwise, everything is pretty simple. And uh, so that's pretty much it. So this was a video for GTA Car Kits in our 2010 Mazda 3. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.